Indeed, Mark. The Bastion family told us that they never gave up hope that this day would come. And while Jennifer Bastion's mother doesn't like that word closure, she feels like today justice was served. Jennifer Bastion loved softball, kittens, and doing cartwheels. But for most, she's remembered as the Tacoma girl who went on a bike ride and was killed in the summer of 1986. This is State of Washington versus Robert Dwayne Washburn. More than 32 years later, the mystery of who killed Jennifer is over. How do you plead? Guilty. 61 year old Robert Washburn admitted he grabbed and strangled the 13 year old in the woods of Point Defiance Park. Jennifer's murder changed our world forever. Before learning his sentence, Washburn had to hear from the others he hurt. The next to address the court will be Jenny's mother, Patty Bastian. For us, normalcy disappeared on August 4th, the day you decided, Washburn, would be a good day to savagely murder our 13 year old girl. Washburn never made eye contact with Jennifer's relatives. I wanted to see even an eyebrow move or, you know, a shake of the head. I mean, there was nothing there. And so that uh, infuriated me. The epitome of a guilty man. He can't look somebody in the eye. While Washburn, through a written statement, yeah. issued well, an apology, are. Jennifer's family did not find it sincere. Jennifer. They said if he was truly Whether sorry, he would have come help. forward decades okay. ago not after Tacoma police tracked him down through DNA evidence. But there's a certain amount of um, exhaling that went on in that courtroom. His sentence, nearly 27 years. Jennifer's mother considers it a life sentence for the 61-year-old Washburn. Thanks to the court here today, justice for Jenny will be done. So while there's no closure, the Bastion family does get a sense of relief knowing that Washburn, they say, will hopefully now never be able to hurt anyone ever again. Also, because of this conviction, his DNA now goes into the national database. So the Bastions hope that maybe some other families who have been waiting for answers can now get them. Live in Tacoma, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.